Welcome everyone to the Can Do Sports Show. Got your host Scott Blair and Don Ray Bennett. Good to be back. How you doing? Man, you've been traveling the world, Puerto Rico. Like, tell us, how you feeling? Feeling good, you know, made the trip back to one of the motherlands uh, to represent for my grandfather, you know what I mean? Um, rest in peace on his birthday, 420, for all you 420s out there. And, uh, you know, it was great to see family. I'm a big family person, as you know, so yeah, got to see cousins and and folks in Puerto Rico and and, and from the States. It, it was a good time. Uh, but I'm not the only traveling man here. My understanding is you'll be going out of out of uh the country here shortly is that correct sir soon soon yeah i look forward to chopping that up when we get back and uh see what we run into so we'll have to do an international uh episode though if if possible i don't want to ruin the vacay okay that would be cool to see you on the beach or something that, that would be cool we'll see if we can see if we can make that happen see if we can make that right. happen. let's get into it because it's been a lot of time and i apologize i have been out and about um, celebrate also celebrating birthdays and all that good stuff. But I'm here. We had an interlude special edition where you let off on some things. Um, dope episode. And now let's bring it back together today. Uh, what, what do we have on deck? You're talking playoffs. Playoffs. Yeah, we're talking about playoffs. Uh, NBA playoffs. We've got a lot going on right now as we're recording, of course. Um, Celtics just uh, just won in Cleveland. Um, so they're up three to one. Uh, we've got, um, man, just trying to process it all. We got Indiana, New York. We got Denver against Minnesota. We got OKC and Dallas, who I think is playing right now. Right now. Um, where do you want to start? Which series do you want to jump into? I mean, you got to go right to Minnesota and yeah, uh, yeah. defending champs. I mean, that is, that's been an epic uh, start. You know, right out the gate, it looked like Minnesota was going to dominate. Their defense was phenomenal. Yes. Um, but adjustments, I mean, that's why that's that's that is why coaches get paid and adjustments were made. Um, and and they they gave it wasn't like Minnesota laid down, especially this last game. I mean, right. Ant coming out and doing what he did 44, yeah, 44 and 45 minutes that's pretty impressive. Uh, but they're not the defending champs for, for nothing. So, talk to me. I mean, there's a, a you know a tremendous amount of buzz around. The second coming of MJ and whatever uh, about um, about Ant Man. Yes. What, what do you see in that series? What do you see out of him as an individual? And uh, what? How do you see it special like, coming out? Special. Listen, shout out to Carl S. Moore. He sent me a text a couple of days ago, and he's like, "Hey, coach." He's like, "Is it just me, or does Anthony Edwards got a little MJ in him?" It's like, yes. And it's not just the way he plays, right? The way he attacks the basket with the veracity that he does, the way he his jumper looks very similar, but even the way he's he's got the the armband on the left arm, he's even got a finger sleeve, um, I think on his left hand, he's got the knee sleeve. Like he just he's got the same attire. It's crazy. Um, but to talk about how he's just arrived, right? Because I think in the past there were some maybe. I hope I'm not speaking out of turn here, but I think some maturity questions um, and then just kind of putting his game together. And I think he's acknowledged the fact that now he's been spending some time with the national team in preparation for the Olympics that helped put him in a position that he's in now to kind of fine tune his skills. I think, yeah, I, I think the NBA has got a little bit of a changing in the guards potentially. The way I see this series though, is two things. One, Adam Silver, um, just, just he saved the series and potentially crushed Minnesota um, because of this inability to hold players accountable to appropriate behavior. Um, Murray should have been suspended. That's it. He should have been suspend, suspended um, at one game. Um, so there's that. Two, Rudy Gobert, you just won defensive player of the year. And where'd you go? Um, Carl uh, Anthony Towns, where, where you at? Um, two big men who have been able to neutralize Jokic for the first two games have been on a magical mystery tour in the last two uh, in Denver. So, or in Minnesota, it's wild that you played like that on the road. Now you're at home and you're laying an egg. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if Denver wins in six. I'm actually going to say it. I think Denver can run the table in six. Wow. Well, don't forget, Gobert was actually out game two. True, 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 true. So, and they were still able to to play it. So, it, 
to me, that tells me it's more of the scheme and the approach, the game plan. And my guess is that he was back for three and four, though. And we're, we're right. And that's where it's kind of gone. Right. Right. So it's right. kind of asking, is it, you know, is it him so much as it is an adjustment that needs to be made? Um, it's but, he's not I showing mean, effort in some well, the, moments for the game. I hate, I hate calling people soft that I don't know personally. I'm not saying he's soft. Right. I'm not either, but that's been the story for years with him yeah. and with Carl Anthony Towns. And the reality is when things get tough, do they buckle down? Yeah. Yeah. And that's been that's been a point of contention. And now where where I give Anthony Edwards credit um and, and the comparisons to great players isn't in the skill set. All everything you said is true, but yep. it's in the mindset. Yes, uh, it's the focus. Yes. He's not yes. just putting out words just because they're cool to say or cliches. He is dead set on destroying people. He's talking in, in press conferences like the vet and 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 uh and more importantly is every time he's asked questions, even if you go back the past year or two, he is a basketball mind. He he's looking at getting better. He has little answers where he's talking mm-hmm. about, you know, a European player's move. That's how he got the slow the the slow um you know two step and like he's learning from other people. Yes. Um, to me, that's much bigger than anyone doing great because we have these flash in the pans, these one hot, two hot years, then they go south. Um, but someone who's working on his craft while being great and holding his own self accountable, not the Ben Simmons of the world who's who, who's talking about everything else, right out there, whether it's true or not, I don't even care if it's true. No one tells the truth anyway, the full truth at these press conferences, but for him to right out the gate, let me squash any possible questions. This is all on me. I got to come out with more energy. I got to now. Do I know, do I believe that completely? No, but it prevents the, the eventual question from being even being asked. That you then have to skip around or answer, which draws attention and, and controversy. That's where the Ben Simmons of the world um, fail, and even Embiid in his early years is yeah. people are like, well, they just answered the question truthfully. Don't you want to answer? You don't want them to get to that point. Crush everything. I got to do better. Yeah. Like, don't even get to that point. And, uh, but anyway, um, so, so <laughs> that's where I'm, I'm impressed is his mindset, how he approaches the game, and the fact that he appears to be of the Kobe type that is, I don't care yeah. that I'm great. I want to get better. I want to learn from every, that guy that he was talking about was on the bench, doesn't even play. Yeah. And he, he, you know, picked up, um, a finishing move from him. So, you know, when the most athletic guy in the, in the league or second, Morant perhaps, uh, or top five, we'll say. Yeah, that's um, right. Is working on alternative, less athletic finishing moves. I mean, you know. And, they sh- and in the midst of all that, he they should be up 31, <laughs> and they're tied at two. <laughs> so. So I'm not going to go with this. I see where you're coming from. They could run off four in a row, but I don't think someone of, of his ability, and he has a cast. I mean, I love uh, Conley. Back, it's not know, him that I'm worried about. It's not him that I'm worried about. I it's think towns. he could carry them to at it's least. Gober. Okay, that's fair. I, I, I think it's going at least. I I I, I mean, I don't you know. Think it's going seven hand. then. So I do. I, if I had to vote, I'd say seven. I sure. want to vote seven. But now that we've seen these two games and Denver has woken up and they got a pass for Madden Silver, <laughs> um, I, that's my guess. So uh, Denver in six, who do you got in seven? Uh, tick 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 tick. I'm gonna go with Minnesota and seven. Okay, it'll be I the changing. Minnesota. It'll be the changing of the guards because I'd like it. I'd like it. I think. Uh, I tell you what, it's a coin flip. I'm not saying yeah. saying I, I think it's a coin flip. And and to be honest, can we say all, two best teams in the NBA? Yes, we can. Yeah. And if Denver wins game five, I do think they win game six. I just think Minnesota wins game five. Okay. That's fair. But they're the two best because uh, they're the best teams. Yeah. Teams. Hands down. They have stars, but they have teams. And Minnesota plays defense. Yeah. There's no – I mean, no one else plays defense. So nope. um, you play defense and then you have a guy who can put up 40, you got a chance every night. If they play defense the way they did in game one and game two, yes, they're winning the series. So – but – um, I've got a little bit more trust in Denver, so we'll see. Let's go to OKC Dallas. Let's keep it West Coast. 
OKC Dallas. What are your thoughts? I'm impressed by Dallas. Uh, I, I, I know so, OKC is young, and, and I realize this could happen because they're young. Um, it's their first time there, you know, and, and I'm sure next year they'll be even better. Not that it's over, but I've been impressed by Dallas. Yes. My Lord. Same, same. Uh, I thought they were done. I thought they were done. Yeah. Uh, I think you know, <laughs> and I, as much as I like OKC in their youth, um, SGA, and, and I think he got shorted perhaps on that MVP. Yes. Uh, 100. I would love to, I would love to see. I'm a huge Mark Cuban fan. I love how he runs that team. And I would love and and you know I would like to see Kyrie and, and Luca against Ant Man and T and company. Like that would be a great I, I I would love to see that type of skilled offensive players go against a defense uh a defensive squad like Minnesota. Yeah, it'd be a that clash. Would be fun. It'd be it'd be a clash. It'd be, yeah, a, it'd, it'd be another fun. clash. It'd be the only thing that could follow up, I think. Um, the current, I don't know. I don't know. What are you thinking? I'm surprised because the way OKC was playing really all year, uh, but especially winning the first round um, series and then coming into this one, they do such a great job of spreading you out. They operate well in space. Holmgren looks fantastic. I was completely wrong about him. Well, at least to date, just thought that his, <laughs> with his body type, but he's not that much different size wise than Kevin Durant. So I think we were all wrong on that one. But as we're talking right now, there's 10 and a half minutes into the left in the third quarter. Dallas is up 14. So we'll see. Dallas um, is currently in a pretty good spot to go up 3 1 in that series, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised because I, I thought OKC was going to win this series in six. Right now, it's not looking too good. We'll see what happens in the second half. Um, either way, though, what we have seen out west, as you just mentioned, I, I really, I really do. If if Dallas or OKC were to go to the NBA Finals, I would be shocked because the two best teams are Minnesota and and Denver. Yeah, but I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be competitive. Uh, yeah, glad Kyrie's playing well. East. Kyrie's looking great out there. Yeah. yeah. How about on the East? Uh, let's start with Cleveland and Boston, just because that seems to be the only series that's going to be done in five. So Boston won today. They're up 3-1. Why LeBron James is at that game, I have no idea. Well, I have an idea. Um, he likes to be dramatic. Um, <laughs> but um, I think that series is done. I think Boston is going to take it back home. I think they're going to win in five. And then they'll rest and see if Porzingis can get himself ready to go. For the Eastern Conference Finals, so that's my take, really quick on Boston, Cleveland. You? Yeah, I'm, I have nothing to say. That I mean, I'm happy they got a game. Yeah. I mean, it's fair. That's it. They've they've been up and down all year. I mean, you can't win 15, 18 in a row, whatever they did, and then finish out the way they did. They played better when they were shorthanded all year. It made no sense. Yeah. Uh, they're up and down, and Mitchell's really on his own. Mobley has shown some some light, some some signs of. Of potential stardom, but they're not ready. They're not. That team's just not equipped to do much. I have a thought, but let's talk first about New York, Indiana. Um, I love that we have New York, Indiana. Just bringing back one of the <laughs> classic rivalries from our time, right? Sure. In the '90s, when we were growing up um, in high school and college. So great to see that. Great to see Reggie Miller. Uh, I don't know. Did you see that a couple of days ago where somebody yes. asked him, how do you feel? Coming? He's like, how do I feel? I own this building. <laughs> <laughs> so God, I love Reggie Miller, but um, I, uh, two things. One love that it's grinding out. Cause that's the way it should be with these two teams and these two franchises. I wish people would lay off Thibodeau because there's a lot of attention of, well, he's playing his guys too many minutes. He's playing his guys a lot of minutes because they don't have any bench. If he had a deeper bench, he'd balance the minutes. He doesn't. If he played more guys off the bench, they probably wouldn't be in the second round. So quick thoughts on that. With that, I do think they're running out of gas. I wouldn't be surprised if Indiana wins. But I do think this series is going seven. Yeah, uh, this series, it's a shame because, I mean, they've got three Nova players out there. I love the players. I can't stand Nick fans. Um, growing up in Philly, it, they're they're <laughs> absolutely obnoxious. They've they're been not terrible. That much, they're not that they, much different than y'all. But okay. stop it! They've been terrible forever, and yes. they're acting like they've won something. 
They're, they're, they're such a joke. Years. They're, they're such years. a joke. That whole fan base is a farce. Um, and I'm mad because I want to root for Brunson and Spike and Lee. What's up, Steven Spike Chenzo? Lee, what's up? And yeah, but besides, I, it's just uh, annoying. Um, having said that, I'm not betting against this Brunson cat. My man is Fair. doing whatever he wants. He's doing what uh, Trey Young was doing in the playoffs a couple of years ago, except he's got more of an arsenal. He gets in there, he can get fouled whenever he wants. He he can shoot daylights. I mean, he's just he's literally unstoppable, which is blows my mind. How he's not even fast. I don't yeah. know. He's just he's, so I'm not going to root against. I, I'm not going to pick against him. I think uh, the Knicks pull it out. I don't think it goes seven. I think okay. it's going to go. I think it's going to go bang bang because um I. I I think Thibodeau is a better defensive mind and um same. And Josh Hart is is if if he shows up at all offensively, I think the the, the scale tips they should. at all. Yeah. They should. And, and and that's why I think defensively they 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 sh- it's simply put I think their five or their six I should say is is better than Indiana six, uh, at least how they operate out there. And they're going to find a way. I just think Brunson's going to find okay. a way. Okay. That's I, I don't disagree. I am going to bring up a women's basketball reference. I think the New York Knicks are the Yukon Huskies of the women's basketball this, this past season. They just don't have enough players. I've, I've really, so <laughs> if okay. they're able to keep the energy and stay healthy, um, Jalen being a little bruised up with his ankle, I think doesn't help. Um, they should win the series, but I'm just not trusting their depth, and that's why I pick Indiana. Okay. So, All right, so you got Indiana in seven. I've got New York in six. We both think Cleveland wraps up ASAP. Yep. Uh, you're going with Denver in seven. I'm going with Minnesota in seven. Seven. Uh, seven. I said oh, Denver. Seven. I said Denver in six. But okay. Oh, I, oh, that's what I said. I said I agree. If Denver win games five, they win yeah. six. But yeah. I think Minnesota wins five. Lose. I think it's going to be everything on the other court. Until the game seven. Yeah. So uh, we so we got a Denver Boston or Minnesota Boston matchup. Okay. Minnesota Boston. Okay. Um, I'm with you on that. And I think the West is gonna win. So I know we still got time to talk about that, but I just don't see anything from the East. Um, however, however, <laughs> where's the Stephen A. Smith? Porzingis. That's a big deal. What I will say is this, by the way, if New York wins, yes, I will bet I, on them to go to the NBA Finals. Yes, I think they beat since I beat the Celtics. I, I will bet on them in the NBA Finals. Yes, and we but, need that. The okay. NBA, I think, needs. I think we're tired of Boston because they just don't show up when it matters. That's why um, they did it. Yeah, I I think the league needs the Knicks based on the teams that are left in the East. I think that would be a B12 shot to the arm. So, yeah. So We'll see. All right. Not, that's that, what not that we want to take shots or anything like that, but um, there's a movie reference for that. I'll remember what it is. B12 <laughs> no, shot to the arm. No shots. No yeah. shots. No shots. Feel the rhythm. Feel the ride. I'm on medicine. As you could tell, I'm a little under the weather. No shots for me, though, yeah. today. Not today. Can we, can we do a quick WNBA thing? Yes, let's do that because we're we're off and running. Season starts tomorrow, <laughs> and off uh, and running. The Thunder are down nine, so we'll see how that plays okay. out. Um, I really hope they get this season right, man. I just, I don't have pre- confidence they will. <sighs> I've pre- already lost confidence between the draft and this quick preseason. Absolute cluster. Off. You, you can't get your streaming services right. The, the draft was met. Nika Mule doesn't get the right passport thing so she can go play in a preseason game in Toronto. Like, what are we doing here? I just hope they fix it. I just don't have faith. They've already dropped the ball, quite frankly, and they've got, you know, some 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 stations, ESPN and the like, have stepped up to purchase some games, and they've got some primetime things moved around, and I have zero confidence that they're going to get it right. Zero. Zero. I've got hope. But I, yeah, but the evidence says otherwise. I mean, they, 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 <clears throat> I think some sponsors have stepped up and they're starting to see an influx Good. of money with As they various, Caitlin I mean, Clark the shoe effect. companies are coming in and 
yeah. you know, different players are getting more shoes have been uh, assigned, but, um, and, and, uh, and, you know, in the chartered flights. And so things are moving, but they have to capitalize. They have to, they're, they're not going to get another shot at this. Once, exactly. once the, if, if Caitlin Clark dies down, there is no no coming back because then the next one is just gonna be like oh that's what happened. Wait, wait. But if if they have a solid year, and then you've got well, look what you've got coming out of college next year. Paige Beckers. Yeah. Beckers, you also got Juju's in the mix. Yeah. And you, I mean, look, they, come on, come on now. They can't. They. Can't. I'm really pulling for them. I'm I know. Really, but I how know. about them choosing? I can't. I, I still can't believe that Philly didn't get a, get a squad over. Toronto? Oh, I know. Really? The one I mean, of the top five markets <laughs> still has not had a franchise. It makes no sense. It so what, no whatever. Sense. I I just I can't though. And again, for those folks who are watching, uh first preseason game, uh, I think of the year they had Chicago Sky, I forget who Chicago was playing, but it wasn't televised. It wasn't on their streaming services offering. So the only way people were able to watch it was somebody was streaming it on their cell phone on Twitter. A couple days later, even after all the noise, um, I think the Indiana Fever was playing, I want to say Phoenix. No. Nah, it's either Phoenix or Seattle. Um, and that was on. But New York Liberty against Connecticut, you couldn't see it. New York Liberty, hello, they were in the NBA, WNBA <laughs> Finals last year. Do you think might, some people might want to watch them, especially if they're in the New York market? And, and they haven't cop- capitalized off Ionescu either. I mean, no. she was they, – they, they, they had her in against – Steph Curry. So yeah. even if you were under a rock and you didn't see that per, per performance in the previous All Star game, the fact that she went one one on one during All Star break, they replayed her stuff over and over, <sighs> and then even that was just like, bro, yeah. get her on television. Yeah, she should have been. She's on must TV. watch TV. Yeah, she should have been on the Stewie, and uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. So uh, Saturday, Saturday, we'll be in Brooklyn. We'll be checking out the Fever oh, against yeah? the Liberty. So we'll make sure wow. we talk about that in the next episode. Nice. But yeah, I hope y'all don't mess this up because right now you're not looking too good. I do want to say this. Speaking of the WNBA draft, 11 of the 12 teams, y'all messed up and you messed up bad. The L- the Las Vegas Aces are the back to back defending champs, and you know what they got in the draft? They didn't <laughs> they didn't pick till the second round, and they got themselves the third all time leading scorer in the history of women's college basketball, Daisha Fair from Syracuse. Yeah, and then they get Kate Martin from Iowa. How did that happen? Good luck. I didn't realize they weren't beating the Aces I, to begin with, but now you got them too. I, I can't believe she went with that because I didn't. I, I once I saw all the the movement, all the free agent moves. I'm like, geez, I didn't realize so many. And it's I guess with two rounds and that many only, I think they you have know, three rounds now. But yeah, or three rounds. I mean, you you only talk about thirty something students, thirty something, uh, forty players, thirty something, forty players going. So I guess that leaves several out there but how they end up with martin and and if you watch the tournament let's say you don't even watch college women's college basketball and Nico really Mule went in the second round and martin was a brain trust down there i mean yeah. she if we're iowa her she was where she needed to be every time her spacing was phenomenal her hands were soft she i mean she her defense was soft. i mean she was just an all-around solid player. And without her, Clark does not have no. the success that she had. No. I don't know. I, I Maybe I'm missing something. No. But, Amateur uh, player evaluation. I will say it. And if you're the New York Liberty, hello. Watched your games for the last three seasons. You can't defend on the perimeter. Why you wouldn't draft Nico Mule makes no sense at all so i'm gonna say right now season hasn't started yet las vegas aces they're gonna be back to back to back champs nobody's beating that squad asia wilson plum chelsea gray they still have their their core and then they just added two and i don't and i don't know much about the 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 scoring threat We'll we'll see. I can't wait to see it. I'll be surprised. Just saying. I'm just saying. That's over. 
and Caleb Williams is winning rookie of the year. Stop it. All right, let's move on. Let's Good move day. on. <laughs> Go Bears. Um, Number eight, Dane. How about we Chicago we Bears. look at the – I have actually, we haven't touched on the draft, have we? Yeah, I think I did a brief episode when you were oh, yeah, away you, well, yeah, you, yeah, that's right. That's and right, in yeah. Puerto Rico. Yeah, that's right. Um, so, and I'll save it for my closing remarks. How about we just touch on the start of the baseball year? Start of the baseball year. Tom York. Your Philadelphia Phillies are doing okay. <laughs> They're doing okay. Are we okay now? Are we okay now? Because we had him on. We we were nine games in, right? We were two series in. He, he wanted to fire he, everybody. He wanted to fire everyone. So now that the season everybody. has really started, right? Because I don't even count those games when it's when it's forty degrees out. I, that's not baseball yet. No. So now that the season has really started, right? We're yes. about forty something games in. Yes. Um, what 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 are your thoughts? Again, I'm going to start with Tom York because at the time of this recording on May 13th, the Philadelphia Phillies have the best record in baseball. That's right. Right. So let's start with that, which is amazing. Um, Yankee fan here, but I don't mind cheering for the Phillies a little bit. So that's amazing. Um, I'm glad the Yankees are in the hunt. Let's see what happens with Garrett Cole once hopefully he gets back in a couple of weeks. Um, I love that we have large markets. Um, and I think Major League Baseball over the last 10 years has done pretty well that everyone, if they've tried, have had an opportunity, right? Baltimore was in the hunt. Kansas City Royals, of course, <clears throat> won, I think, about 10 years ago. Um, Tampa has been in contention, you know, kind of go down the way. And then last year, of course, we had Texas and Arizona. But this year, of course, the Dodgers are still there. Philadelphia is there. Atlanta is there. New the Yankees are look like they have awakened from the last couple of years. I'm excited to see some of the perennial powers kind of back in a little bit. Sure. Um, but I'm also amazed at how Baltimore continues to produce a quality product. Really, the AL East still is pretty strong, as sure. it usually is. So that's my I-95 take for the most part. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm impressed. I gotta give a shout out to my to the Phyllis, the Wiz kids. They are playing. Ranger Suarez is absolute dotting it up it's like the best start ever yeah. to a season this guy we gotta get to a is, game we gotta get to a game yeah he's absolutely on fire and um boom over here hitting 340 i mean they, they are playing phenomenal and mind you trey turner went down a couple weeks ago and he's out for a couple more weeks with his hammy um and they haven't missed a beat and he's been hitting like 340 as well um and they haven't missed a beat they are they're finding ways they're dominating early you know, when you play the likes of the Marlins and, and teams that they should beat. Marlins, and hold on. Can we pause on that a minute? They were in the playoffs last year. That's right. Didn't they have manager of the year? We we basically ripped their heart out, if you recall, the, the Phils. And, um, they currently have the worst up. record in the league with 11 wins and 32 That's been losses. their M.O. They they know, that they, they They are – they. They and Tampa Bay Rays have had identical histories where they have tons yeah. of talent. They get their talent. Solid. Rays use it for a year or two, then they got to get rid of it. Marlins barely even use it. And it's then they got to get rid of it. That's why so, Derek Jeter is making cheap commercials now. So it's hard. Right. So that's <laughs> so that's that. But I, all, I mean, Phil's, they were at seven, I think they're at 690 now, but 700 win percentage yeah. hovering around there. They're just balling out, and it's about time. I love it. The best uh, record. They just came the back, wow. came back against the Mets in New York against Edwin Diaz down a couple in the ninth. I love it. So kudos to them. But again, it's not about now; it's about October. So yeah, it's a long season. Try, yeah, try to stay healthy. Tom York, I think they're not going to be in the wild card. It looks they're looking all right. They're, they're looking all right. So yeah, Bra Braves are doing their thing too. They're they're not going anywhere. But yeah. Fills our on a mission. So good stuff. Good episode. We got a little bit of everything today. Absolutely. Hockey. Real quick shout out. Edmonton Oilers. It'd be good to see a little Canada action when we get ourselves to the final four. So hopefully y'all get yourselves together. Um yeah, just a little uh, sad to see the Toronto Maple Leafs um lose to Boston again. Um, <laughs> not because of Boston, just because I'd like to see Toronto do well for a minute. Um, but keeping an eye out, Pete Lycona, shout out to you. And, and shout out to uh, 
the New York fans. I still can't stand any of you, but the fact that the Rangers, Rangers you know, won their first seven. I mean, they all dropped the last two, so Hurricanes aren't going anywhere. But um, it feels like 1994, man. Stop, <laughs> Rangers. We got the Knicks and Pacers. It I feels know. like 1994. And didn't the Phillies make the World Series like in 93, 94? In 93, yeah. Okay, that's that was my favorite team of all time. I didn't bring that up. Was that the one that the Blue Jays? I didn't bring it up for that reason. So the cool part Sorry. about uh, hockey is that that's the one sport where there's always that upset. It's like almost guaranteed an eight. That was not on purpose. That was not on purpose. <laughs> no, I just love that the favorite, you know, the, the one seeds are all still alive. The two seeds, Sands won, where the three seed beat the two and the Avalanche beating the Jets. I like that the winners are winning. Uh, okay. It just seems like in that sport, there's always <laughs> – coming out of left field but yes uh it, it is you're right it is striking back uh okay it is mimicking that a early little bit a little bit yeah bulls are irrelevant so yeah it feels like <laughs> similar to the 94 yeah. jordan come back so, so oh this is good all right. any closing remarks man bears i hope you didn't mess this up you're looking good we're looking good I think we might actually have an offense for the first time since, I don't know, Rex Grossman circa 2006 when we went to the Super Bowl. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Those are my final thoughts. I've got the Bears on the mind because it's too early for baseball. It's still mid-May. The Bulls are terrible. The Blackhawks are terrible. Um, yeah, go Bears. Hopefully you figured it out. Nice. Uh, as not, for me, no jersey though. I'm not, I'm waiting on number 18 because I still got my number one jersey <laughs> sitting back here. So. Uh, I hope Fields balls out and I hope so too. gets the starting spot in Pittsburgh and just destroys. So um, for me, I'm just going to do a Philadelphia wrap up. Uh, the season yeah. came to a grinding halt in basketball. Um, disgusting, uh, nauseating <laughs> on home court again. Uh, Paul George. I'm just, no, no. Uh, Jimmy Butler. We should have never traded Mikhail Bridges. That never made sense. No one understood. He was a hometown kid, three and D, wide, long. He you was everything we needed. And you then should we should have kept Jimmy Butler. Anyway, you Jimmy have a Butler. Chip by now. Well, I think he's coming back. But anyway, Tobias will be gone. Um, zero points in a close. Zero points. No. Uh, no for so two, he'll right? be gone. We can get. So we have plenty of cap space. We don't got to do anything too crazy. Uh, and I think someone like Jimmy Butler will also be available. So don't be surprised if we. Uh, get a big name and then bring Jimmy in on a on a reduced number. Zach Levine. Zach Levine. Uh, Bulls would like to get rid of him. Zach Levine. I. Uh, well, yeah. Well, will you take my left shoe? Because I'm not giving up too much for that. Give us Allen Iverson statue, and we'll think about it. <laughs> so, but my wrap up. The is, full size one, not the little one. The the Philly seasons have come to an end as they should. Football disappointing. Hockey just crash and burn. Didn't even make the playoffs basketball more of the same uh so you know they're right on the queue uh so Go all us. i can do is shout out to the eagles for a tremendous um draft and uh just gotta look forward to the fills uh union and uh and that's it okay the, oh and Jeez. ncaa football Let's we go. Wait, son. i'm gonna do an episode just when that one comes out by the way just Can't. For that. Wait. Can't wait. And Mike Tyson comes back in two months. So oh yes. <laughs> Looking nasty. Yes. All Are right, you getting is... NCAA? Are you getting it right yes. now? Tell people. Oh, Can we fire. breathe there? Yes. 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 All right. Any any of our listeners, if you get the game, can do Dynasty out the gate. Can do's making a return. Love or Akron. It. I might play with Akron. Who knows? But I might um, play with Ball, Ball State. A little action, action. I think. Yeah, shout yeah, out yeah, to yeah. shout out to my brother. I think we'll play with some Ball State. So okay. go Cardinals. Yeah, I might do Akron if we can make if 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 you can make the teams. I may do can. I got to bring back can. They're in the same. Aren't they in the same kind yep. of division? Mac. Yeah. Same Absolutely. league. All right, we'll make it happen. Chris Blankenship. I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Yes, you we are. Take Kent or Ohio yeah. or I got Ball State. Let's do it. Let's do it. All, All right. right. Deuces, everyone. Peace. Peace.